In this video, I will show you how to configure dedicated DNS server as a secondary DNS for redundancy. You will need to access your primary DNS server in order to finish setting up your secondary DNS server. So for this demonstration, we have a lab scenario. We have a two Windows Server 2016 computer. The first one is our Active Directory Zooming controller named lab-dc01.mpitv.lab and we have assigned the IP address 192.168.1.5 on that server. On this server, we have our two Active Directory integrated DNS zone. And we have another Windows Server 2016 computer that is member of our Active Directory domain. And uh, the name of that server is lab-server01.mpitv.lab. We have assigned IP 192.168.1.6 on that server. So let's move to our this server because we are going to configure second DNS server on that machine. So let's move to our virtual machine. And uh, on this machine, already I opened server manager dashboard. On server manager dashboard, I'm going to click on add roles and features because we are going to install DNS server role on this server. On before you begin screen, click on next. Now select role base of feature base installation and then click on next. Now from this screen, you have to select your server on which you are planning to install server role. For this demonstration, we are installing the DNS server on local server. That's why I'm selecting the local server. Let's click on next. On select server role console, you have to select the server role which you are installing. And for us, that is DNS server role. Let's click on add feature. Click on next. We do not need any additional feature. So leave it to default and click on next. Click on next. And click on install to start the installation process. After installing DNS server role, let's click on close to close this console and let's open DNS manager console by clicking on tools and select DNS. Under your server name, right click on foreign lookup zone and select new zone. You will get the new zone wizard welcome screen and click on next. In the zone type screen, you will need to select secondary DNS zone. So let's select secondary zone as this will be your backup secondary DNS that will replicate from primary DNS. Let's click on next. Now on the screen, you have to specify the zone name. In our case, that is mprtv.lab. Let's click on next. Now, you will need to put in your primary DNS server name or IP address. This is where you tell your secondary DNS server where to copy all the DNS information from. So in our case, the IP address of our master DNS server is 192.168.1.5. Let's click on next. Let's click on finish to complete new zone creation wizard. Now, x1 photo lookup zone and here we have mprtv.lab. Setting up secondary DNS zone is done, but we are not entirely finished here. We need to tell our primary DNS server that it is okay for this secondary DNS server to pull information from it. Otherwise, replication will fail and you will get this big red X symbol. So let's move to our primary DNS server and this is the our primary DNS server. Let's log into our DNS server. And on uh, DNS manager console, select your uh, foreign lookup zone. In our case, that is mprtv.lab. Right click on it and select properties. Go to zone transfer tape. By default, for security reasons, the allow zone transfer is unchecked to protect your DNS information. We need to allow zone transfer so let's select allow zone transfer. If you value your DNS records, you do not want to select to any server, but make sure you click on only server listed on the name server tab. So now let's uh, move to name server tab. So let's click on name servers. And here we have to add new name server record. So let's click on add and here we can enter a server name or one or more IP address. Both are required to identify the name server. But it is always better to validate by name, not IP address to avoid future problems in case your IP address change on that server. So let's specify the FQDN of our server and that is lab-server01.mprtv.lab. And now let's click on resolve. Okay, so this is the IP address of our that server. Let's click on OK. Now let's again move to Zone Transfer tab and let's click on Notify. Now here we have to select servers listed on the name server options. That will notify our secondary DNS server 
if any changes occur on our primary DNS zone. Let's click on OK and let's click on Apply and OK. So now let's again going back to our secondary DNS server and let's select our secondary DNS zone that is mpi2v.lab. Right click on it and select Transfer from Master. Click on Refresh and here we go. Now the zone data has successfully replicated to our secondary DNS server. Your secondary DNS server is now fully set up. You cannot make any DNS changes from your secondary server. You try to delete any record and that time delete options is not available over there. Now if you try to add any record by right clicking on zone, you will not find options to add any additional records. So secondary DNS server is a read-only DNS server. Any DNS changes have to be done from the primary DNS server only. So let's test that. Let's move back to our primary DNS server and let's add one host record www and let's specify the IP address 127.0.0.1. Let's click on add. Let's click on OK and let's click on done. Let's click on refresh button. Now under that zone, if you see startup authority number is 25 over here and if we move back to our secondary DNS server right now we have a startup authority number 23. Now if we right click on our mprtv.lab zone and select transfer from master and hit refresh that time you can see we have a host record named www is replicated to our secondary DNS server and if you see a startup authority number is now 25. So if you made any changes on your primary DNS server, if you add records, if you delete records, if you modify records, this number will increment and that will tell your secondary DNS server there is uh, any changes in a primary zone. So in this way, we can configure secondary DNS server or you can say we can configure zone transferring in a Windows Server 2016 DNS server. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.